If you clicked on this video, it's most likely for one of two main reasons. Because you watched one or more of my trick clips, tried it with your own saber, and ended up looking like this. Or, because you just got a new lightsaber and you noticed that it's more unbalanced than a solo kid in an unplanned trilogy. So whether you're like Rey and you've never held a lightsaber, or you're ready to take the trials, Obi-Wan is ready. I am ready to face the trials. Let's upgrade that saber. Now take heed. Altering your equipment involves risks, including but not limited to breaking, bending, scratching, scuffing, shorting, shoeing, unbooting, boot scooting, and endless troubleshooting. Basically, if you fuck something up trying to emulate what you see me do in any of my videos, I am not responsible in any way, shape, or form. Not again. Obi-Wan's gonna kill me. First off, let's address the pay-to-win options. Mainly, custom balance lightsabers by Saber Flux Workshop are available in batches every three to four months. Definitely keep an eye out for the next announcement at saberflux.com. Flow Saber is the OG stunt saber that Michelle C. Smith used in her viral butterfly kick video, and they have a new model that is now shipping out after taking pre-orders last fall. Also, you can buy nearly any cheap saber staff model from any cheap lightsaber website. Slap a little grip tape in the middle and then call it a day, but it's much more impressive to see the stuff done with a sword rather than a staff, I think anyways. Bendu Armory sells a brass module attachment thingy that goes on the speaker and pulls the center of gravity down the hilt depending how long your blade is. That brings us to probably the most important point on how to balance your saber. And in some cases, you can do it without spending more money. Shorten the blade. If you use a standard baselet polycarbonate blade with no neopixel innards whatsoever, congratulations, this part is cheap and won't take more than five minutes with very few tools. All you need is a hacksaw. If you don't have a hacksaw, a hot knife will work just as well, if not cleaner. If you can't figure out either of those two methods, I can't train you. I cannot train him. What? With your cutting method of choice, measure twice, cut once. Clean up the cut, and there you have a perfectly sized blade to your preference. If you have a NeoPixel, you have two options. Spend the 90-ish dollars for a custom sized blade, or crack open your precious expensive glow stick and learn some basic wiring and circuitry. I opted for the latter with help from someone who knew a thing or two about LEDs, but he had never touched a lightsaber before, and it still worked out decently. If you choose to buy your way out of this problem, again, Bendu Armory has pixel blades at any sizing. Both Anasaber.com and Nsaber.com com have 32 inch and 36 inch blades and viresabers.com has 28 32 and 36 inch blades. use code just but be warned modifying products like these tend to come with risks including but not limited to destroying the technology and revoking warranties proceed at your own risk and do not blame me for your poor choices i clicked without reading and i slightly modified a thing that i own once you've decided on a comfortable blade size, the next step is to decide what combination of hilt extensions and or heavier internals you want to add to your setup to pull the center of mass as far down as possible. The best place to get hilt extensions are customsabershop.com, saberforge.com, or viresabers.com. But make sure you measure your pommel's inner diameter and outer diameter because they aren't all standard. There are a few simple ways to add extra weight. You can use washers and bolts, fishing line weights, you can use basically any heavy metal that will fit inside the empty space that your hilt extension opens up. Bundle your counterweight elements into a neat cylinder of some kind and then wrap it with just enough electrical tape that it doesn't slide or rattle around on the inside. This step may take some trial and error to get dialed in, but if you're smart enough to math your way through weighing both the blade and the components, you may be able to deduce the exact amount you need to add to pull the balance point halfway down the hilt. Not me though, I'm an idiot. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. If you've made it this far, you've sat through two warnings about the risks. So I'm sure at this point, you're going to just ignore a don't try this at home and try this at home. Learning spins, tosses, and tricks also comes with dangers. So be mindful in your training and you'll avoid this. If you're still watching, then you must have enjoyed this video, so please force push the like and subscribe buttons. You'll also see some videos on the screen right now, so if you want a tutorial on some of the lightsaber techniques that no Jedi will teach you, click here. If you want to watch some more force-powered lightsaber tricks, click here. I also have discount codes for lightsabers in the description and more ways you can support the channel in my link tree. So again, thank you for watching, and may the force be with you.